This video is on the fundamental theorem of calculus. A uh, very grand name for uh, what is actually a very grand theorem. Before this theorem uh, got sorted out, it wasn't known that differentiation and integration were basically opposite sides of the same coin. Um, and so anyway, uh, often in um, maths Olympiads and uh, more uh, advanced college entrance tests, you, you get questions on the fundamental theorem of calculus and how to use this equation here, um, which basically says that uh, d dx of this, which is the integral between x and a of f of t dt, equals f of x. Now, if you can get your head around this, it means that some of these questions are very simple to answer. In fact, some of them are so simple that you can write the answer down straight away. Most people don't have a problem that when you differentiate an integral, you get back where you started. But where they do have a problem is why does the f of t change to f of x? OK, so basically, um, and this is probably a, a rather uh, informal um, uh, proof, but let's say that f of t is equal to the integral of f of t dt, i.e. the integral of that bit. Um, now, that means, obviously, that if we differentiate f of t with respect to t, we get f of t, basically if f of t is the integral of f of t, then differentiating uh, gets us back where we started. And of course, there's nothing special about the letter t. So we can also say that d f of x dx equals f of x. Let's just keep those two for presently. OK, so therefore the integral between x and a of f of t dt, which is what this is here, equals um, f of t between x and a, that's just basic integration, which equals f of x, the big F, minus f of a. OK, now f of a is a constant because a is a constant. So if we then take the differential of this, then that's the same with respect to x, and that's the same as taking the differential of this with respect to x, and we know that this thing here is f of x. And we know that when we take the differential of a constant, it is 0. So basically, d dx of the integral between x and a of f of t dt equals f of x. And that is basically the derivation of that formula. Now. You don't need to be able to derive it. And in actual fact, you can answer questions on this very simply as long as you know that whenever you see d dx of the integral of f of t, the answer is simply replace t with x. You need to have the x at the top and a constant at the bottom here. So let's have a look at a couple of questions. OK, this is a question I actually saw on a college uh, entrance test. It's got all of the elements already. It's got the d dx. It's got the integral between x and a constant, and it's got a function of t dt. So using our uh, fundamental theorem of calculus, we can simply write the answer by replacing t with x. So the answer is e to the power of x to the power of 4, simply replacing that t with x. Et voila. You will never see a simpler question than that. OK, let's have a look at uh, the next question. Uh, this one here. So that's g of x is the integral between x uh, and 4 of the square root of t cubed add 4t dt. We're almost uh, at the point where we can use the fundamental theorem of calculus. It asks us what g dashed of x is. Well, g dashed of x is the same thing as dg dx. So let us just put differentiate dg dx. And of course, we differentiate the other side as well. And then we have, hey presto, we now have our fundamental theorem of calculus. We've got d dx of x and a constant of some value of some function of t dt. So the answer to that is simply replace the t's with x, which is the square root of x cubed add 4x. OK, now, if you get one of these sort of questions in your exam, then you're extremely lucky. More likely, the type of question you'll get in an exam is one like this. OK, so we're basically given uh, a function and we're given that it equals some form of variant of the fundamental theorem of calculus. What will happen here is that we will end up with a differential equation, which we will have to solve. 
and then find the answer. Okay, so what this says, it screams at us as a clue, differentiate me. So whenever you see this in, a, in any sort of equation, differentiate me with respect to x. That's what it's telling you, it's giving you a clue. So let's differentiate um, both sides with respect to x, and therefore we get f dashed of x, we're differentiating this side, add 3, so that's just 1, equals d dx of the integral between x and minus 2 of t squared dt. And we know that this, by the fundamental theorem of calculus that we just looked at, it's got all of the elements, it's got the d dx, it's got the x, and it's got a function of t, we know that that equals x squared. So we ha now have our differential equation, and this is the way most of these questions will, will come, is that you will end up with a differential equation here. Now this particular differentiation, differential equation is extremely simple, because it's, um, in fact, it's the most simple that you can get. All we need to do now is just integrate, so if f dashed of x is x squared minus 3, therefore we have f of x equals x cubed over 3 minus 3x add c, that's just basic differentiation. Now the question tells us f of 0 is 8 over 3, so when we have f of 0, uh, basically we put 0 in, that will be 0 cubed over 3 minus 3 times 0, add c equals 8 over 3, so clearly c equals 8 over 3, so our function f of x is x cubed over 3 minus 3x add 8 over 3, and then the question asks us what is f of 4? Okay, so all we need to do now is put 4 in. So f of 4 equals 4 cubed over 3 minus 3 times 4 add 8 over 3, uh, which equals 12. And that is the answer to question, this question 3. Now, just some out of interest, um, you can do this another way. What you could actually do is do this integration. Um, and let's do it the other way. I wouldn't recommend that, and I definitely recommend doing it the fundamental theorem of calculus way, because normally this won't be so simple. Normally it will be just a, a function of f and t or something like that. So you won't be able to do this second method. But anyway, let's do this second method. So basically, uh, using the second method, we have uh, f of x add 3x equals the integral between x and minus 2 of uh, t squared dt. Okay, so uh, we can just integrate this one here uh, as we normally would, which equals t cubed over 3 between x and minus 2. Um, and now all we need to do, because we need f of 4, so we can simply put 4 in here. So f of 4 add 3 times 4, because x would be equal to 4, equals t cubed over 3 between 4 and minus 2, because that x is 4, we've established x is 4, which equals 64 over 3 add 8 over 3, and so we have that f of 4 equals uh, 72 over 3 minus 12, just taking the 12 over there, which again equals uh, 72 over 3 is 24 minus 12 equals 12. So it gives you the same answer, this second method here. That's just basically for, uh, for checking, but I would certainly recommend that you get used to doing the fundamental theorem of calculus um, method, especially on questions like this, where you will definitely find it's the same old differentiate, get a differential equation, solve the differential equation, and then answer whatever question it is that they want. Okay, now we're going to be doing some more um, uh, fundamental theorem of calculus uh, videos uh, in, the, in the coming days where the, um, let's just go back to the beginning, where the, um, it's not between x and a constant, it is between a function of x and another function of x, and how do we deal with that? Okay, so uh, if you're interested in that, please uh, like this video and uh, subscribe to the Gressley Academy YouTube channel. Thank you very much.